Y'all, welcome back to the Nick Gates Show. Today, we're going to be working on side by side, y'all, and we're going to be changing out the spark plug. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll show you how to do it. I do before you uh, take out your old spark plug is you got to do a couple things to side by side first. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you. We're going to take the seat out, um, take out the uh, covers. I'm going to show you where it's located. So we are in the front seat here. First, we oops, open up your door, take up, let's lift up on this front seat here, take that out, just lay it out. And then underneath the uh, driver's seat, uh, passenger seat, uh, we're really not gonna need that today. Um, they do have a tool kit over underneath that side. Let's where your battery is. Uh, but today, primarily, this is where we're gonna be working with. Uh, so you can take it up all the way, you can just flip it over. But I'm gonna take you up in there, right there she is, y'all, that spark plug. So first and foremost, we're gonna take that cover off, take the old spark plug out. Uh, then you go to your uh, AutoZone Advanced and uh, get one that matches to put back in there. Now I do wanna show you over here underneath the passenger seat. Let's take this cover off here. You should have a tool kit. You may or may not have yours, if you, especially if you buy them used. But inside of here, I'm gonna show you. So inside your little tool kit, you can see in there. So you got your uh, spark plug socket in there. You got a little uh, thingy do hicker there to, uh, uh, I guess, to hold and to and to put on your spark plug to get it in and out of there. You got a, a screwdriver, portion here, and a wrench. But let's take this out. So this right here, again, spark plug socket right there. This will also serve as an extension. You're gonna need about a 14 millimeter socket to put on there. You don't have to have this. If you got your own spark plug uh, socket and extender, that'll be just fine. But we're gonna use this here, take our spark plug out of there. Now, first and foremost, we need to take this cover. I'm gonna try to get underneath there and show you as best I can. But basically, I'm gonna take this, just pull, that right off there. So now your spark plug is exposed. So I got my socket wrench. We got a 14 millimeter socket. So basically this end is gonna go over this. And then this end, we're gonna fit uh, over the socket and unscrew it out of there. Be careful because this is not magnetic. It does not attach, it'll simply come off. So be careful when you got it in there um, that you don't turn it <laughs> down. You don't turn it down like that right there because it's going to come right out. So be very careful. All right. Okay. Kind of hard to hold the camera and show you in there too. But basically from this angle, you're going to take our socket, our extender, uh, spark plug socket there, put it in there. I said, be careful. Don't point it down because it is going to come off there. So we're just going to stick that around our spark plug. Give a little bit of oomph, and you'll feel it loosen up. Now I'm just going to get in there by hand and unscrew it. There she is. Now we're going to take this to the store, make sure we get that matched up with what we need to replace it with. All right, y'all, these are, uh, let me see here. These new spark plugs we've got are uh, NGK uh, model number CPR6EB9s. And be sure to call your uh, Advance Auto or your Power Sports store. They may or may not have these in stock. You may need to order them. Uh, if you do, uh, you know, get them anywhere, uh, Amazon or from the store or whatnot. But I want to show you what the... Uh, old one and the new one look like and now we're going to put this back in the machine gonna be good to go this honda 700 four seater has got two spark plugs now the first one as you can see pretty easy to get to but to get to the second one we got to take the cover off this seat so you're going to need probably like a flathead screwdriver and a phillips head take this cover off so we can access the one underneath the seat so y'all to walk you around here so basically we got 
get this cover right here right. We're gonna need to take this off because the other spark plug is right underneath here. And you really can't get to it um, just by putting your hands up underneath there. So what we gotta do, we gotta go around here. So you've got a combination of these clips and you've got a Phillips head there. So you need to go around, take all those up. And it's pretty simple. You take your flathead, put it up underneath there, lift up gently, because these, these will break off. But once you lift up on that, it should come, I'll go all the way around there, but that should uh, you know, come up and uh, take the cover off. Then, once you get all those clips and those screws up, then you've got this 12 uh, millimeter socket to take off. All right, y'all. So I've gone around and I've got up, you see, all my clips there. Sometimes you may have to remove those entirely. Other times you can leave them in there and seal that just, you know, the cover will pop right out. But the number one thing I will say for any DIYer when you're doing this, especially for the first time, take your time. Don't get frustrated because again, it's the first time you're doing this, right? So I've got all my clips, all my screws are done. Basically lift up on the front cover and just pull. Now we can get to our second spark. So this one right here. So our second one goes, uh, if you can see, yeah, you see that hole right there? And the other one on top here. So very gently pull off this boot here. You can see our spark plug down in there. Let's get our wrench. All right, so first, let me take our wrench, let me get it down in there first. Make sure I got that on there good. Nice and snug up against that plug. And I believe it is. Then now we're gonna put our socket on there uh, with our 14 millimeter and uh, get it off there. might be all we need to do with the wrench. Let's see if I can do the rest of it. All right, y'all, we're gonna start installing our new uh, spark plugs. I'm gonna start with the one on the top and got my socket here. So I can go ahead and get this started. Put that down in there. See if I can show you best I can. And then before I put the new spark plug in there, I'm gonna take some of my Annie C's uh, lubricant, lubricant and I get the, the threads around here. Pretty decent. That way to keep it from, you know, getting stuck in there down the road. So it's pretty good. Go ahead and put it in there. All right, so again, right on top here, I am gonna see if I can put that down in the hole there. Kinda hard to get it on camera. I'm gonna do my best to get it in there. And just, just get it started if I can by hand. All right, we got that one snugged up. Let's go put our boot back on there. Okay, go on to the next one. Okay, I'm gonna show you best I can again. Kind of get this in there by hand. Get that started. and then put that boot back on as well. All right, so we got our new spark plugs in on the top, on the side, we've got our boots on, and uh, let's start her up, make sure everything is working good. All right, let's put our seat cover back on, we're good to go. And that is how you change out your spark plugs, y'all. 
Make sure on any machine or vehicle you got, follow your manufacturer's scheduled maintenance recommendations. That way, your car, your machine is going to be good to go, come and run like it's supposed to, not have any issues. Like, share, and subscribe. The Nick Gates Show.